Hello, good morning. This is Papa Alpha 3 Golf Echo Golf. Um, questions about uh, how to uh, add uh, a new QSO into the QRZ.com logbook. Um, I had uh, some questions about this. And, um, well, we're going to show today how we're going to do that. So we're on the QRZ.com page. And we're going to we have logged in already so what we are going to do is put our mouse on the call sign which is yours of course and we're going to my logbook so that takes most of the time a few seconds so we're in our logbook in this case my logbook and we are going to do what we are going to do is to add a QSO. So we got this here, add QSO, and I'm going to use an old call sign of mine as an example. So we put in Papa Delta Zero Oscar Alpha Lima from 1983, hi hi. <laughs> so uh, we are pushing the button at QSO. So we got a new window what we're going to do now, we put in the, the, Q, the start of the QSO, the time, we got the band, we got the frequency, we got the mode, and we can add uh, the report as well. Most important things are time, date, mode, frequency, um, and um, yeah, the report, of course, must be added as well but the most important things are the uh, starting of the QSO the time and we have here this uh, here show and set QSO and times we push that so we can also uh, use the uh, beginning time of the uh, QSO and the end time what I most of the time do when I most of the time I'm loading up my uh, my QSOs but when I do it manually when now what I'm doing now um, I'm going to uh, put here 8 o'clock and make that 8 o'clock 9 or 1 or even less whatever you want uh, just uh, that's the best way to do it and the easiest way so we got QSO start we got the date the time we got the band we got the frequency and we got the mode so what the all we have to do now is so completed by the report and I think that's all uh, the next thing you're gonna do is save the QSO so it's going to be saved it's working now it's taking a little bit of time yes and now it's saved and it's in my logbook so of course I'm gonna delete it later but for now it's added to so when I've sent you an email or somebody else has sent you a request uh, for incoming requests for confirming um, it's also not as difficult it's the same way so you put this on push on the button incoming requests confirmation request so we've got a quite a, a bunch of QSOs here and of course in your logbook there's not PO3GG but it's your call um, this is a guy who uh, asked uh, if I want to confirm our QSO so I'm going to confirm and we got the same window and we have to, all we have to do is the same uh, thing to do and that is uh, put in the right details and confirm it and save it that's all uh, when you have some details uh, sent by somebody so uh, like I did sometimes uh, let me see where do I have it um, yes this one of course this is a good example from a somebody from France uh, I sent him these um, uh, QSOs with time date uh, band frequency so all you have to do is look at these uh, details and then go to the qrz.com logbook 
use the incoming if I send you a request and if not then you add it for yourself somebody if you want to add a QSO for yourself so you're going back to add QSO and do it the same way over and over until you have all the incomings <laughs> get rid of them because when you have the incomings and confirm the QSO and saved it it will be gone from the list so the list will be uh, smaller and smaller every time you add a, a QSO from the incoming list okay I think that's all thank you for watching and uh, Hope to catch you soon on one of the bands. 73's PI3 Golf Echo Golf. Bye bye.